For our readings this Sunday, we're going to be reading from John chapter 6. And as I was reading through, a phrase caught my eye, and I want to explore it further. It's John chapter 6, verse 63, and just this little bit here, it is the spirit that gives life. And it caught my eye because who wouldn't want to be full of life? Who wouldn't want to be part of a church that is life-giving and generative? And so I thought, what is this spirit? Let's do a bit of old-fashioned word research. And we go to a Greek-English interlinear. The New Testament, obviously, originally written in Greek. And we find the verse, and here it is, spirit. In Greek, pronounced pneuma. And there we even have it in Greek. And this little number here, G4151, so useful because it leads us to Strong's lexicon. Strong's is like a dictionary and a translator all at the same time. And in Strong's, we pick up something of what this word might mean. 4151, pneuma, a current of air, a breath, or a breeze. But by analogy or figuratively, a spirit. In a human, we might talk about the rational soul, the vital principle. Or, in this case, I suspect, we are talking about God, Christ's spirit, the Holy Spirit. And we're even invited to compare and contrast with 5590. And isn't the website lovely? It gives us the reference. Suche. Also breath. But in this case, the animal or sentient principle only. So it invites us to consider that there is being alive, like an animal, and being filled with the spirit, having something a bit more of God within us. And it is the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, that invites us into life.